Well, you are watching there the horrific moments when Hamas descended on the Supernova Music Festival, now believed to be the worst civilian massacre in Israeli history. About 3,500 people were in attendance videos all over social media showing the panic, the chaos, as people scrambled for cover, tried to escape. More than 260 people died, many others taken hostage. And as many ran from the scene, understandably, some ran toward it, like Ben Shimoni. He lives nearby. He helped save at least four women before he, in turn, went missing. Let's bring in Karen Shimoni, who is Ben's cousin, joins us live. Karen, thank you so much for being with us. I want to apologize in advance. We are waiting for comments from President Biden. So if I have to interrupt you, I do apologize. Uh, but first, I'm so sorry about uh, right now not knowing what happened with Ben. How terrifying is this for you? Just talk about the range of emotions you have to be going through. Thank you for having me here. Um, myself and my entire family, both in the United States and in Israel, are completely devastated um, with our relative Ben being missing. He is a very special man. He has saved carloads of people from the festival. He took people to safety and then decided to go back into the dangerous area to go collect more people. He was begged to stay back and he felt called to go help people. He went He went back and he was had some people in his car. He was on the phone with his girlfriend. The She heard loud noises the phone disconnected it's been three days we don't know where ben is we are searching every hospital in the country we are coming together my family members and i friends in israel people on the ground we are all putting an effort to find him absolutely and he, and he really is such an amazing person uh when did you learn about what happened, Karen? Was it a phone call, the phone call from his girlfriend? I heard my parents um, had heard in the middle of the night. And so I woke up to messages from my parents um, about the war breaking out or, you know, at that time it wasn't declared war yet as the terror attacks hitting Israel um, and, and that one of the people who are missing is 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 our cousin Ben, our very, very close cousin. He visits us here in America. We visit him in Israel. He he is just such a special person. He takes care of everyone around him. And we are just completely in shock. Oh, we, are we, we can't even imagine. And and it shows, I mean, it speaks to the kind of person that he is, the fact that he would go back, the fact that he would help others uh, in what was so obviously a da dangerous situation. Karen, have you, your family, Ben's parents, been able to gather any information from the Israeli government, obviously knowing that right now everything is so chaotic? A lot of our information is very grassroots people, um, family and friends piecing together clues. Um, his car has been located damaged um, with blood stains. His phone has been located and returned to the family. We're just taking pinged locations. We're taking personal accounts from anyone who will share with us. We're trying to put together the pieces of this horrifying puzzle. And when you hear, you know, that Israel is moving forward with this incursion into Gaza with the ultimate goal of eradicating Hamas, what do you think about that? Because obviously your cousin is still missing. It is, it, this is a very, very scary situation. Um, I'm at a loss for words. These these terrorists came in and harmed and killed and brutalized so many people. We don't know what they've done with my family member. We don't know where he is. I can't speak to what the course of action needs to be. All I know is we are praying and hoping and searching for Ben. Um, and we hope he is in Israel. We hope he's safe. Um, we hope we hope we can find him soon. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.